Well, this is a soil, as we mentioned earlier, which is a bit challenged, meaning that it has some properties that, that aren't the best for, for, for plants to grow in and so forth. But uh, pedologically, or thinking of it from the point of view of soil formation and soil classification, this is a, a soil of the Solonetsic order. To be a soil of the Solonetsic order, the, the characteristic horizon we need to have is the, is the BNT horizon. And this soil definitely has a BNT. So when you're keying out the soils, you come down to the point that uh, it asks the question about whether or not the soil has a BNT horizon. This one does, so it is in the Solonetsic order. And as we'll talk about in more detail later, uh, it, it has a pretty distinctive sort of uh, process of formation that, that's connected to the, the, form, uh, to the important role of, of sodium in the soil. It's the sodium ions in the soil that are very important to the dispersion of clay and also to the, uh, the dispersion, I guess you might say, of some of the organic matter in humus that causes the clay under the influence of, of downward percolating water, basically rainwater moving through the soil, that just when you reach a point where there's the right amount of sodium on the soil, the so soil disperses. That means that the clay particles and the, and the uh, organic matter exist rather than in aggregates or stuck together, it exists as individual particles. And it's those individual particles in that dispersed condition that, uh, that are part that move down in the soil to, to form the, the BNT horizon.